Hey, what's up guys? I'm just going to show you how to make some lids to prepare for jars to inoculate some mushrooms. Um, these are just regular mouth lids. Um, I usually stack them uh, three together. I have a board with, uh, I guess, a jar lid already pre-attached. makes it a little easier for drilling instead of holding one in a hand. Um, I've had actually almost sliced my palm open with holding one and drilling because the drill caught spun the the cap so it's just a little safer I usually do about three at a time um, I found anything more than three at a time the holes don't drill quite as evenly so um, I use uh, I'm gonna be putting two holes into them um, one's gonna be for the ATV silicone um, it's gonna be your high temperature ATV silicone um, you get it at any hardware store you get it at Walmart um, Kmart anywhere like that um, so um, usually with the inoculation point, I like to make that uh, close to center point. Um, like I said, I'm using a quarter inch drill bit for that one right there. Um, for the next drill bit I'm going to be putting in, it's going to be for an airport. Um, I use a 13 64 uh, inch for that. It doesn't need to be as big as the injection port. I usually put that a little bit further off to the side. So I am going to put the uh, injection port dead center. And then uh, the air release is going to be kind of uh, over here in the middle. Um, I mean, kind of over here to the side. Um, uh, with that, uh, you fill with some polyfill. Um, I'll show you a little bit further in the video. Um, but for now, we're going to go ahead and just drill the three that I have set in there. Um, dead set. Like I said, I got them in that board already. I usually press it down with two fingers to hold down around the outside. And then I just drill. As you can see, usually, um, you can see when you punch through, you can feel it. Uh, you can actually feel it go through each layer of the lids. Um, like I said, any more than three uh, lids makes it a little difficult. They bounce around a little bit, and uh, you don't get an even pattern on all of your jar lids. Um, now I'm going to make the air port. I'm just going to put that a little off-center. It's going to be closer to the edge of the ring. Now that's done, just pop them out. And if you did everything correctly, you should wind up with uh, three lids that look some similar to something like that. The injection port in the middle, and then a smaller, not much smaller, but a little bit smaller for your polyfill. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drill three other uh, real quick, I'm going to be inoculating uh, six jars. I have um, some different cultures I'm going to expand, and I'm going to show you that as well, too, in some further videos. But for now, um, I'm going to put you on a break. Uh, I'm going to do my other few lids, and then I'll come back, and I'll show you how I prepare with the ATV high-temperature silicone and the polyfill after that they're ready to go you can put them um, actually they got to sit for 24 hours for the ATV silicone to cure completely for your self-healing injection port makes it really nice if you're going to be doing any liquid cultures grains um, I've even seen people use them for the brown rice I don't prefer it on the brown rice method uh, the brown rice method I just prefer uh, four injection ports that are quite smaller uh, that you don't have anything on um, I'll show you that in a later video as well too, but uh, here in just a minute, we'll get back.